What's up guys, welcome back. Uh, today's video, I'm gonna be telling you the three things that I was the most scared about going into uh, boot camp, Marine Corps boot camp. And uh, for the most part, they were irrational, not sure why. Well, I mean, I, I know why I was scared of them, but I mean, when you're in it, when you're in boot camp, you're gonna figure out that these things really don't matter, and I'm gonna explain that to you. So, uh, before I get into the video, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good shit. Uh, this is what I do with this channel is I tell you boot camp stories and I tell you my tips and tricks going into the military getting out of the military and everything in between so make sure to make sure to subscribe so let's get into the video the first thing that I was the most scared about going into the military was having a small bladder all right having a small bladder I, I I pee all the time like it seems like every hour and a half I pee and I was touching on this couple couple videos ago <laughs> man I like talking about how much I pee don't I but, uh, like, I was super scary going into the military because I was like, all right, they aren't, I know that, I know the, the time is going to come where I'm going to be standing on line and the drone instructors are going to be yelling at us and I'm going to have to piss like crazy. And then I'm going to have to be that guy who has to, who has to go and raise his hand or like ask the senior, you know, the drone instructor to go and let me pee and then I'm going to get destroyed. And I'm going to piss my pants and all that. Look guys, like there are people that pee their pants in boot camp. I've seen them, um... But for the most part, like, if you're worried about, I mean, that's just, like, mostly out of nervousness. If you're worried about what I was worried about, which is just, like, I pee a lot, look, they're going to give you plenty of opportunities. And, like, you have, to, you have to be sort of smart about it, too. So they're going to give you all the opportunities to be like, all right, like, uh, like, if you guys need to use the head, like, use it now, you know, whatever, you got 30 seconds. And you all, like, run to the head and you'll use it. Um, so take, and I've told you a couple videos ago, like always go to the bathroom when they tell you that you can, like you always want to take that opportunity, even if you have a, a big bladder, like you don't pee that much because you don't know when the next time is. Um, but yeah, usually they're going to go and let you, uh, like multiple times in the day, like plenty of times, um, enough for me. And I, you know, you guys know how much, like I need to use the restroom a lot. Like they're going to give you times to do that. And also, uh, you can notice like. When people start asking, like in the middle of a class, like this recruit, you know, request to use the head, sir. And then he'll be like, uh, all right, go, you got 30 seconds. And then like right after that, one another guy will go and be like, this recruit, you know. And then he'll be like, all right, whoever needs to use the head, just use it right now. You got a minute, like, and get back. And then everybody will do it. And then, you know, you should join in. So you'll know the right times to, to ask to use the restroom. So don't worry about that. Uh, I've been on that topic for way too long, way more than I'm, I'm comfortable for. So let's get on to the second thing. Uh, this is uh, another biggie, which is being a picky eater. I am, I am a very picky eater. Uh, I used to be, all right? Before boot camp, believe it or not, I didn't eat meat. Like I, I ate meat when I, when I had to, like, and it had to be very specific things like Wendy's chicken nuggets. I don't like any other chicken nuggets, right? But like I never ate, I never ate burgers from McDonald's. I told you in the last video I don't, and like I was just, I'm a very picky guy, and I because of that I'm a very thin person. I just don't enjoy food that much, right? So going into boot camp, I was scared. I was like, all right, I know that they're gonna be, uh, you know, feeding me food that a lot of times I'm not gonna want to eat. Like, what am I gonna do in those situations? Now, when you actually get to it. I promise you, you will you will eat everything. So I remember the first week um, is receiving, and I remember the first couple days I did not eat that well because they were giving me the food, and I was like, man, you know, I don't want to eat this. And then, you know, the two minutes to eat will pass by, and then you just you'll you'll go the rest of the day hungry, and that keeps happening where you don't eat much and you don't eat much until your body and your mind like literally like tell you like if you see food, any type of food, you down that thing. And you're going to be eating salt packets. You're going to be that hungry. Like, and people are going to be hiding peanut butter packets because they're going to be in these, like, plastic little uh, things and whatever. Like, people are going to be sneaking things in, uh, well, trust me on this. Don't sneak food into the squab bay. If you do, you're going to get kicked out. It's an integrity violation, they call it. So don't sneak any food away from things. Don't steal MREs. Don't do any of that shit. But um, still, people are going to be desperately hungry, and that's what's going to happen to you. And you're going to get, you're going to end up Probably after two weeks, uh, you're gonna you're gonna uh, up into those two weeks, you're gonna be passing by the the deviled eggs and all these different things that they try and make you eat, and then by the you know by the end of those two weeks, you're gonna be eating all that in like two minutes, and you're gonna love it. All right, you're if you have a small appetite, 
I promise you that the military will fix the military will fix it, and you have nothing to fear about. It'll 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 pass by, and you'll you'll uh, you'll you'll learn to appreciate food in whatever form it is. So, <laughs> on to probably the scariest one for me, which is bugs. I am terrified of spiders, and I continue to battle this. All right, I am t absolutely terrified, and I live in Michigan, like. Michigan doesn't have anything and I that might be part of the reason is because whenever I see a spider I'm like oh shit like there's no spiders in Michigan what the fuck you know um, <laughs> Michigan's a very temperate climate but when you go to South Carolina or oh man camp or uh, San Diego where there's freaking tarantulas and shit black widows uh, Paris Island is is I mean it's in the middle of this jungly forest right uh, the base uh, is it's not like in the middle of a forest like you you don't have to think that way So like what I thought boot camp was gonna be like was like you sleep in cabins And then you wake up and you're in the middle of a forest and you're like you're freaking go around these forests and, and Like, you know, it's just crazy, but look like these are well paved pathways if anything uh, There is freaking concrete everywhere. It's a it's a it's a military base. It's not like in the middle of nowhere It's a well-built military base and you're going to be marching around on concrete. You're not going to be marching around in dirt um, most of the time. Obviously, there's like field ops and stuff where you're, you know, you'll be doing stuff in the, in the field and stuff. Which, yeah, that's, where you're, that's the only time that you're going to be encountering bugs. Otherwise, you don't have anything to fear about. I, I did not see a single bug uh, in my squaw bay, which is where we sleep. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, the only thing, you, I mean, like, you're going you're gonna to get used to it. Um, when when you get out to the field, so um, I, I think the only time that I really experienced this heavy heavily was uh, in school of infantry, where you're out in the field for a very long time, like a week at a time, and you're you know there's no cabins and it's um, you know you're just out there. That was the that was the first time where I really encountered a ton of spiders and bugs. Like it's gonna be a ton, guys, and I'll tell you what. After after a week in the field, by the end of it, you're gonna be um, like you're gonna be what is the word immune immune to being scared of spiders. You're not gonna be scared of anything, right? You're gonna be you're gonna be out there. You're gonna be sleeping with these things, and like they're gonna be crawling all over the place, and you're gonna be like, eh, fuck it, you know. And you're gonna learn that they don't bother you. They don't bother you guys. I remember sleeping in my in my two man fighting hole, and um, man, it's like. What, do you think that there's gonna be spiders trying to chase our body heat uh, when you're when you're like in a in the middle of the ground in a foxhole? Like yeah, that's gonna happen. You know what? It is what it is, and you're gonna you're gonna actually not be afraid of spiders by the end of it. I promise you. But that being said, after after being out of the field for a week or so, you're gonna start feeling those natural uh, those natural genetic. Uh, uh, fears, which I, which for me is uh, spiders. You're gonna start getting scared of them again, and it's gonna take going to the field for another week to get rid of it. So, this is something you're just gonna battle with. But um, as far as boot camp, you have no worries. You don't have to be worried about bugs at all. It's it's not even a factor, uh, except for like maybe fire ants. But that's like that's not something that people are terrified of. It's just you know it's just part of living down south right fire ants happen you'll you'll put your elbow on one and in, in like a in like a what do they call that the ant the ant farm the ant hills right you're gonna put your elbow on an ant hill and it's gonna be covered in fire ants you're gonna be like, oh shit but it's not like a scary thing it just hurts <laughs> but anyway um yeah i think i explained my points pretty good uh if you enjoyed this video make sure to like and uh, if you have any more questions, like maybe things that you're scared about, please leave it down in the comments and I'll answer in the comments section. Or maybe even put a whole separate video uh, for that question specifically. Who knows? Well, anyway, guys, I'll talk to you in the next yes, one. Sir. Slowly break it in, right? Yes, sir. After that, we start getting into it, right? Yes,